How's it going, James? Onlinecarshow.net. Well, got some bad news and some good news in this video. So without hesitation, let's get this video started. Just want to start this video with off with you know what's going on with the channel, what events we got going on coming up. There will be a second part to this video, uh, and in that second part, I'll probably go over you know what all we decided to do, and hopefully get you all some Dino Tune footage from Sorian Tuning as well. Uh, I do also have another mod on the way. Believe it or not, that was ordered Black Friday. I keep bringing it up in all these videos, but we still haven't received the mod from the vendor, so. Soon as I receive that mod and am able to complete the second part and get it installed on the vehicle, I'll be sure to showcase that. Also, Muscle Palooza, one of my favorite car shows of the year, is coming up March 7th. So be sure to mark your calendars for that. You can get more information at westhoustonmuscle.com. And I'll have all that information in the description as well. So be sure to go ahead and smash that like and subscribe below. You don't want to miss any of these upcoming videos and events, and it helps my channel to grow. So we'll get into the bad news. I'll give you all the bad news first and the good news. Uh, the bad news, well, I originally had some cavitation issues and something was going on with the intercooler pump, the auxiliary pump that feeds coolant through the intercooler brakes in the supercharger and then back through the uh, you know heat exchanger and all that. So. The pump that's attached to that, I, w I do hear cavitation or was hearing cavitation when I started it up uh, and it was actually air locking at one point. One of the things I did was uh, purged it a whole bunch of times and I'm thinking from the sound of it that made a huge difference. I'm hoping it fixed the problem. I guess only time will tell but in the process of getting everything checked out, I brought it by my uh, son-in-law shop, Eddie, at Meineke and Katie. He does excellent work, by the way, too, but uh, brought it by his shop just to get it checked out uh, and get his thoughts on, he was gonna try to see if uh, he could help me out maybe on the weekend or something at the house and uh, you know get the intercooler pump installed. But as we we're sitting there you know, looking at that, I had the car running and I told him, you know, I've been hearing some ticking noise. I didn't think a whole lot of it because I know the LSs do have a tendency to tick, uh, you know, whether that be injectors or rockers, whatever the case. Uh, and, you know, a lot of times you shouldn't be alarmed by it. So I just wanted to kind of get it checked out or whatnot. So we list to, so we put up a little listing device to the valve covers and around, you know, under, where, around the area where the valve was on the head. Uh, we were able to listen to the engine uh, and then the valves. You could hear it pretty good in there. And uh, we noticed some, uh, there was an irregular tick that wasn't kind of going along with, you know, the rest of the noise in there. It seemed like it was on an irregular rhythm. So that led me to believe there's potentially some issues going on. Uh, so I took it over to Houston Performance. They confirmed, you know, they listened with the listening device as well. Uh, on both sides, they were hearing some ir small irregular ticks and so forth. So a couple days after that, I left it. Uh, they were able to open the valve covers, uh, noticed a couple loose springs, uh, nothing major going on. And uh, I don't believe we found anything major so far that's wrong. So I'm hoping that the whole problem was just a couple loose springs, maybe, you know, uh, some bad rockers or whatever, but one thing that concerned me, and I felt like I was kind of uh, led wrong by the car salesman uh, when I bought the car, was I was told that the engine had never been worked on and it was just bolt-ons. And once we opened up the valve covers and so forth, uh, there were aftermarket springs instead of the stock springs. They were titanium dual springs, I was told. So that's kind of weird. Nothing else in there was aftermarket we've seen so far. Just the springs um, and two of them being loose and so forth. So I do have a little bit of worries there. And they didn't put a little, they didn't put a trunion kit in. I mean, I don't know why you'd go in there and replace springs and not try to fix, you know, some of the, the infamous problems that the LS had with the, you know, the rocker studs coming loose. 
uh, you know, and to remedy that, you put a trunnion kit in there. It, I think it, what it does, it connects all the rockers together with the bar, basically, instead of having the studs just sticking up individually. And that's one of the things we're planning to do to the ZR1 while it's there. But anyways, I went ahead and made the decision, you know, uh, with the ticking, I don't think we found any ticking noise on the other side. So I wanted to get the heads checked out, which means they have to come off. Uh, so we went ahead and made the call to remove the heads, take them over to, uh, I think Phillips sent them over to Modern Airflow Dynamics. He said they're a company he trusts really good. And uh, I've heard about them over, you know, here and there. But they're going to do, they're going to check out the heads, uh, potentially, it's not finalized yet, uh, port the heads, do a head shave, maybe do bronze valve guides, uh, you know, check out the valves in depth, make sure everything's perfect, kosher on both sides. Uh, and then the plan is potentially, you know, putting everything back together, maybe adding springs, if those springs aren't, you know, don't have enough tension in them. Uh, definitely gonna have to do push rods. We may shape the heads while they're at modern airflow. So that'll require us to do push rods no matter what. Um, do the trunnion kit. Uh, and from there, you know, it could, it could depend on anything else that's found wrong. Or hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping while everything's taken apart, we're there and there's no lifter issues or nothing like that need to be replaced which I could still need to replace there or maybe even strengthen up. But hopefully if nothing else is wrong, like lifters or anything like that, uh, the plan is to, you know, do all the strengthening parts and supporting parts that I've already listed, as well as the port, the head shave, and then maybe a stage three camp. We'll see, fingers crossed. Uh, you know, if, if something's wrong or it's gonna require more machining or more serious work or whatnot, we may have to wait for that another day, but uh, really excited. Uh, and then of course, after all that work, she'll go back over to Saurian Tuning. And I also am gonna, of course, attach a contest with that. And that's gonna be a giveaway. I'm gonna contact some of my sponsors, see if they can help me out with the giveaway this time and try to get y'all you know, something special in the deal and so forth. But the, the contest will be, if you can guess my horsepower on that diner run, uh, before that video is released and I guess I'll have to use this video this video to do the contest so please enter in in the comment section of this video what you think I'm gonna pull at wheels that's not at motor that's at wheels my last pull was a 656 horsepower 666.6667 torque number of the beast uh, so I mean on top of that we're potentially gonna have a uh, head port, a head shave, a little bit of a little bit of valve strengthening and so forth, and potentially a stage three cam. So be sure to hit you know below what you think she's gonna pull in the dyno. It's gonna be north of 656, hopefully, where I was at before. And uh, I'd say the number's probably gonna be below 900. And that's a really high side. So Anyways, I'm not gonna give y'all any more hints than that. Just, you know, do your best guess on what the horsepower will be in the closest number to the actual number, or if you guess the actual number, will win. And this is horsepower at wheels. So be sure to enter that below in this video. And that's really all I've got for y'all right now. I'm sorry there isn't a whole lot of content. I just felt like I needed to update you guys on what was going on with the car. Uh, because it's been actually in the shop for, for over a week. And that's part of the reason I haven't released any updates. You know, it's the new job, plus, you know, the car being in the shop, there just really isn't any content to give y'all. So uh, I'm really excited about the car. Uh, this is gonna be awesome. I've never had a stage three cam in a car before. Uh, so this will be a first for me and I've never done head porting before. I'm really excited and uh, you know, be sure if you're new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe subscribe below you don't want to miss this upcoming dyno i can't wait to see what she's going to pull thank y'all so much for watching my videos and i hope everyone has a wonderful week